Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I take cars that are gas and make them electric. All right, been a couple weeks since I made an update. A few people have reached out and yes, I'm still doing good. Just been working here away at the shop. I didn't have a ton to really show off on camera, uh, except for today, I've got some cool stuff to show you. So first thing, let's get into the Tacoma build. I went ahead and I bench tested all the Nissan Leaf components loose in the shop uh, with the Resolve EV controller, a wiring harness, the accelerator pedal, the OLED display, and the charger, everything that we need for the Tacoma conversion. I went ahead and bench tested it just to make sure it worked. So let's get into that right now. I've got the Resolve EV kind of set up for bench testing here, um, just so I can check over and make sure all the EV conversion parts for the Tacoma are gonna work correctly. Um, I got a message from Resolve that since this car was a 2025, it had a new style PDM, which may or may not work. Um, so I was worried I might have to get a new one, but it looks like it works fine. Uh, so this car is 2025, but it's probably still mechanically like the same as the 2023, 2024. So anyway, that's good news. So basically I'll go ahead and I'll show you what I'm doing here and uh, we'll do some testing. So basically I just have the motor stack here and the battery wheeled up close along with the 12 volt battery. And then I have just temporarily used wire nuts to connect all of the different systems from the Resolve to the motor stack and a little 12 volt circuit with a relay. So really basic wiring because I'm gonna need to redo all this anyway to fit it into the truck and go through holes and all that stuff. So uh, for right now, just using the wire nuts as just an easy temporary solution. And I have labeled every single wire, both from the Resolve and from the Leaf wiring harnesses themselves. So basically how it works is the, Re the Resolve EV is connected through CAN. These twisted wires are the CAN. So there's um, a CAN bus going to the inverter, a CAN bus going to the charger, and one going to the battery itself. So those three CAN bus wires are connected to the main components. And then on the PDM, there's a few low voltage and signal wires. So that's what most of these are in the middle, like this orange one. And then the inverter has um, its own little wiring harness to plug into this little temperature sensor. And then the motor here for uh, this plug. So got to make sure you get all those in and then it has some these light green wires go to the battery source um, so that the inverter get, or uh, actually goes to the output side of the inverter relay. So the Resolve EV, when it first starts up and does its systems checks, everything's good. Then it turns on the inverter relay, which turns on the inverter, and then you're good to drive and use the car. So uh, likewise, I've also got it plugged into charging right now and you can see here we're charging at six kilowatts and I used the option to charge max 85%. And how you do that is just connecting the two wires for the neutral switch together. So this is my neutral, this is the drive, and this is reverse. So uh, basically you just put a switch across those two wires for each of those things to select drive neutral or reverse. And I've just got them stripped back so I can manually do that here. Uh, while bench testing. So I'll show you how to do that in a bit. Then you need the uh, relay for the inverter. So I just got a relay, um, wired it up as per the instructions. And uh, basically the resolve turns the inverter on, the inverter turns the, or the relay it turns the inverter on. So um, I had a couple little scares at the beginning. I was trying to get it to work and it wasn't working. Um, so I just, I went back through my wiring diagram here and I checked every pin and uh, I found that two of them were mixed up. And uh, so I got those switched back around and then everything works as it should. So super stoked on that. And um, I guess the only thing left to do is to test it and spin the motor. So let's do that. We'll unplug it from the charger. And then this is my ignition key wire, so I'm just going to touch this to the positive. Okay, now we are powered up. You can see we're in uh, neutral. 
So basically what I'm going to do is I have this wire here, which is the brake input. So when you press on the brake pedal, it gives out a 12 volt signal for, to turn on like your brake lights. So you tap into that signal with this wire so that the resolve knows when you press the brake because you need to press the brake in order to shift it into drive, neutral, or reverse. So we'll go ahead and connect that as if we're pressing the brake pedal. And then I'm just gonna take these two wires for drive and I just touched them together and we went into drive, as you can see. All right, so now I'm just gonna press the throttle. I need two hands here. the drive wires together again to turn on regen and that'll stop the motor but it works uh, initially I tried to press the pedal and it wasn't going in because I still had the brake wire connected to 12 volts and that's a safety feature so the resolve will not give you any accelerator until you lift your foot off of the brake well let's go ahead and we'll put it in reverse and uh, try reverse All right, so we shifted to reverse, you can see. And the motor spins in reverse. It'll take a while to spin down. Maybe I can shift it back to forward. When there's no, no drag on the motor, it just spins and spins, even though there's no power being applied. That's how efficient they are though. They just keep spinning down. All right, it's coming to a stop. So I'll shift it back to drive. And then I'm gonna put it in uh, the second stage of regen and we'll give it a little bit more throttle and the motor will actually rock from the torque. <laughs> All right, a little too much. But there you have it. So uh, Resolve EV system fully tested. I'm stoked that it works with the PDM. I don't have to get a new PDM. And uh, this is great because now we have a big green flag to just move on with the build. Like I haven't dis disassembled the battery yet because I was waiting to do this test um, while everything was still connected. But uh, now that I know everything's working, it's all working together, I can go ahead and open the battery and start taking it out because we still have that battery box that we're designing and we need to start test fitting it and getting more precise measurements. Um, but there you go. Resolve EV test complete for the Tacoma. All right, so then big updates on the Volkswagen. I have been just working away on all of the components, the charger, the DC to DC, the cooling system, all the wiring harness and the contactor box here in the rear of the car. So let me show you what I've been doing. So first of all, you can see the motor in the middle. This is the charger, which I've got bolted up to the firewall. This is the DC to DC converter over here on the side. And that provides 12 volt power to the battery and the 12 volt systems in the car using the main high voltage battery. And then this is the contactor box on this side. So you've got your main high voltage relay, the shunt, which measures the current in and out. And then up here are fuse blocks. So these are fuses for the charger, the DC, DC, and for uh, other high voltage circuits. And then this is the relay, which when you turn the key to turn on the car, connects this relay and tells everything to power up. And also down here is the controller for the J1772, the charge port, which is right here. So I kind of thought this would be the best way to go about mounting all this stuff. I wanted it to not only be functional, but also look pretty good. So uh, this contactor box, you can see these um, pulls here. Well, this will bolt up nicely on there and nice and secure. And uh, basically the high voltage wires will come out of these two fittings 
and go to the controller here for the motor. And then these two fittings at the bottom will go underneath and into the car where the high voltage battery packs are. So that's the last thing I need to do. I've got pretty much everything else done. I still need to hook up like the 12 volt system and some grounds. But other than that, pretty much everything is wired in the rear of the car here. So I made these steel uh, plates here, which are bolted around the circumference. And then also I have little supports to go up to the firewall. So these are nice and sturdy and stiff. They don't really wiggle around or anything. And then I've also got some supports underneath. So those are bolted in multiple points for um, just so they won't move around or anything. This is the stock metal piece for the motor or for the engine bay. And I trimmed it a little bit so it fit nicely around the electric motor. And then there's one in the back, which I also trimmed up to fit and cleaned those and painted them all. So everything looks really good. You can see this is new insulation for the firewall on the sides here. So we got this new aluminum backed insulation, really nice. And uh, just trying to make it all really presentable and clean looking. And then uh, back behind there is the water pump and there'll be some other power distribution. And you can see on the side here is the reservoir. So this will be the reservoir for the coolant, which cools the, uh, this plate here at the bottom of the motor controller. So this is the only piece of the whole system that is water cooled. So just that little plate there on the bottom of the controller. And then this is the radiator and I've built some little stands. So the radiator will be about like that. It's taped up, but you can see there's fans on this side, the radiator on that side, but I think that's going to look cool once it's all done, having that radiator like right there in the middle, kind of centered. And then it's also functional because on the Volkswagen, these vents for the uh, airflow out basically lines up exactly with where I have that reservoir, uh, radiator. So that should look cool and be super functional. Um, so now everything, like I said, is pretty much dialed up back here and now i'm going to start working on the interior uh, i need to mount some gauges up on the dashboard uh, of course the park neutral reverse or the drive neutral reverse switch so you can tell the car which direction you want to drive and uh, finalize all that stuff up on the dash and then of course i've got the battery boxes still to mount one goes here um, in this partial shelf area and the other one goes up under the front hood so i'm going to start putting those battery boxes together and uh, start running the high voltage wiring back here to the distribution of the contactor box and uh, basically get all the wiring finalized and then i'll start testing all of the wiring testing the systems in the car the charger everything and make sure it's all working and if so then i'll go ahead and i'll put some conduit or some uh, electrical tape and clean up all the wiring so that it's tucked away safe and secure and looks good so that's kind of it for the updates on the Volkswagen. Um, it's really coming along. It should be running here shortly. Uh, just basically the batteries are left and some small stuff inside. So like I said, the past couple weeks, I've just been really going to town on this thing. Like all these panels I had to cut and then weld and then fit, test fit, you know, all that stuff. And then I had to clean them all and paint them. Um, so that fabrication work like that just takes a lot. And so that's what I've been focusing on here. And then the wiring kind of came together. That's the big thing with wiring your EV or your complex systems is you kind of have to have everything in the place where it's gonna live before you can start your wiring. Um, otherwise you just have a pile of stuff and you, you don't want to start wiring things because you don't know how long the wires are gonna be and things like that. But assuming you have all your components and you're confident they're all gonna work together, you can just go ahead and mount them into the vehicle, even if you just temporarily mount them, mount them to where they're gonna live. And then you can start doing the wiring and the wiring just comes together because now it's like, okay, this wire goes to here. Okay, lengthen it, shorten it, add a connector, whatever you need to do, it just starts falling into place. So that's the biggest thing if you're out there and you don't know where to start on your EV conversion, that's a good place to start is just lay out your different components where you think they should live. And then everything else will just kind of follow you're like, you know, the, the cooling system, the wiring, everything will just kind of go where it goes and you can move on, get over a hump and get on with your project. So that about does it for this week's update. As you saw the leaf stack, all the leaf stuff is working and the Volkswagen is coming along well. So thanks again for watching me here on EV Swap, and we'll have some more updates as we move on with these two vehicles.
Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions and hit the thumbs up, share with your friends and family, anybody you think would be interested in this content. We just blew past 4,000 subscribers. So huge shout out to everybody, all the new subscribers and all the old time subscribers who've been here since the beginning. Thanks for watching.